hi so welcome back to my channel so today we are going to prove this particular question the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so this is a very basic property we all know that the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so here we are going to prove okay so first thing that we are going to do here is the construction okay so whatever i have drawn here with the red uh, marker so it's basically the construction it's the extra thing that we have added to our uh, you know diagram so what i have done here i have drawn a line de passing through a and this is parallel to bc so if d is parallel to bc this implies da will also be parallel to bc same way a is also parallel to bc right now let us name this angle dab as angle 1 and angle eac as angle 2 okay so let us write down the same thing so angle dab is equal to angle 1 and angle eac is equal to angle 2 so basically why we are writing this because you know every time we don't have to write down the name of the angles so it is simply to denote by uh, like it is simple to denote uh, by the numbers 1 and 2 now since da is parallel to bc so there is one property we know that alternate interior angles will be equal okay so angle dab which is angle 1 will be equal to angle abc and the reason is alternate interior angles are equal this is one of the properties of parallel lines okay now similarly uh, using the same property we can write down angle 2 uh, since we have you know the line parallel uh, a is parallel to bc so that implies angle 2 will be ang will be equal to angle acb right now let us move ahead so since we can see here that it is a straight line dae is forming a straight line so therefore using a, a straight line property we know that the angles lying on that straight line the sum will be equal to 180 degree so that's why angle 1 plus angle bac plus angle 2 will be equal to 180 degree and the reason is as i told you straight line property all right so now next is so you can see here angle one is nothing but angle d a b right so angle one is equal to angle a b c okay so i have written star here and this has double star so angle one is equal to angle a b c because of the alternate interior angle property so at the place of angle one we are writing angle a b c plus angle b a c as it is plus angle 2 will be equal to angle ACB as you can see in the double star so at the place of angle 2 we have written angle ACB is equal to 180 degree as it is and now I have written I have written here the reasons from star and double star okay so next is as you can see here we are through now so angle abc is same as angle b because the middle angle is the main angle angle bac is equal to angle a and angle acb is same as angle c which is equal to 180 degree and that implies angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degree and here is the proof so hence proved i hope you understood this proof and i hope you liked the video also don't forget to subscribe